Well, what's up, my princesses? How are you? This is Theme Park Wizard here, and we have a, uh, a Universal Studios construction update. <laughs> and then, tomorrow, Disneyland Resort construction update, all from Buy Reconstruct. Uh, he was out here for a couple days earlier last week, and <laughs> he got some great uh, footage of SoCal theme parks from above. He's just Florida theme parks, but we have some awesome um, SoCal theme parks here as well. And today, we're all about Universal Studios Hollywood. So here is the uh, Halloween Hornets construction. You see there's some facades up. There's lots of wood up that on the northernmost, or the, the first tent there, there's a facade up for uh, what, uh, I don't know what theme it's going to be, but I say maybe like a house. <laughs> Usually in that area there's like a like house facade. So that's really cool. It's awesome to see construction progressing there. The rest of this update will be all about Super Nintendo World. And look at it grow, grow, grow. All the all the foundation is um done. There is barely any dirt, if any dirt, left. <laughs> lots of steel up, and uh, lots of steel on the ground as well. But lots of a lot of it is gone vertical, and the Mario Kart building, of course, has been closed up. There's so one part that's open and I feel like that's to install maybe some facade work or some I don't know maybe or maybe that part is open because they want to lug stuff into the interior of the building and they need it can't obviously close it all up because they need a maybe need a large or you know, haul in some larger set pieces and and stuff in it to the that third the upper floor of the building over there. That I feel like that won't be closed up for quite a long time. The rest of this area, though, is moving along at a pretty good rate. Here's another angle from it. This will be the area where Princess Peach Castle will be, and uh, yeah, it's just it's all moving progressively. I'm not sure how tall that's going to be. If, like, I'm not sure if it, it's gonna requires more steel. I don't know if there's going to be a second or third level of steel there. I expect there would be, for the, at least for the, ca the castle portion, because it's maybe like a, at least in Japan, it looks like a three-story castle there. So, I'm not entirely sure when we'll see new construction. Maybe that's what that steel on the ground's for. They'll probably maybe put some, connect, uh, connect some more steel together, maybe add another level. It's like putting a, putting a puzzle piece uh, or one of those connects toys that connects roller coasters together. That's what when steel um, buildings are being constructed with steel. That's what it reminds me of because it's um super cool. It's like like it's literally a puzzle, which is cool. <laughs> Moving on <coughs> towards another angle of Super Nintendo World. This one includes some Jurassic World, and can't, I can't really see, but the water is in Jurassic World. Um, they are adding some new additions there, and it should be. Definitely by this point, be ready for park opening as they've been testing the boats periodically the past couple of weeks. So that's a fantastic sign. In terms of, in terms of park reopening, there's a lot of steel actually, in the I just noticed by the by the buildings by the the bathrooms, there's a lot of steel over there. For what I'm not sure what that will be. Maybe, maybe that will be the castle. Honestly, that actually could be Princess Peach's castle right there because in Japan it's the entrance entrance way to the land, but here it, I think it will just be a facade or somebody can go and just kind of stand up on and, and maybe take a seat and but it'll just be like more more sort of facade and no better place to put a facade than up against the Jurassic Cafe over there. Even the other areas for uh, uh, interactive interactive uh, games and such, and uh, with Mario Kart, obviously, <laughs> the show building to the left. And hopefully, Donkey Kong will come in those uh, show building or uh, two warehouses in the or sound stages in the foreground. We'll have to see if that can come in 2022, or 2023, as rumored. But uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it for this quick Universal Studios Hollywood update, mostly on again Super Nintendo World and <laughs> a quick look. On Halloween Horror Nights. Subscribe for more updates and uh, check out some Theme Park Wizard merch in the links below. Like this video for a big thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, theme underscore park underscore wizard. All the links from our social media, social media are below. 
And again, subscribe for that Disneyland construction update coming tomorrow. Let me know what you think of Super Nintendo World. Are you excited for the theme parks to reopen? And are you excited for next year when Super Nintendo World reopens? Let me know in the comments below. Have a fantastic day.